most palpable and you can understand why two high-level sides about to face each other and it's anyone's guess how this is going to end up it's Real Madrid and they take on Barcelona it's coming up live next on EA TV Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. My name is Derek Ray and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. An action coming up from the Spanish top division, La Liga. It's Real Madrid versus Barcelona. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game and who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And let's dissect the Real Madrid side. Kepa stands between the posts. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside David Alaba in central defence. Federico Valverde plays alongside Jude Bellingham in the centre of midfield. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Can they forge ahead? They do! And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Well, here it is again, and I don't expect keepers to save everything at their near post, but I think he should probably do better. He'll be a little bit disappointed with that. So the action continues. Will there be a quick response from Real? Rodrigo. Chouameni. This is Alaba. Tony Kroos. Mendy. Jude Bellingham. Is with Vinicius Junior. And now Rodrigo. No, high quality defending. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Rodrigo. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. Joao Felix. Frankie de Jong. Barcelona now in potentially a dangerous position. Felix and back to De Jong Joao Felix on to De Jong timely intervention Rudiger and Valverde Rudiger has it David Alaba Mendy has it Tony Kroos, Aurelien Chouameni, moving the ball nicely, trying to carve out the equaliser. I think I spoke too soon. Wasn't the best of passes finally. Gundogan and Bellingham, Rodrigo, magnificent defending. Gundogan Lewandowski here's Rafinha Rafinha difficult to stop him well it came to nothing in the end we're well, getting close to the half-time interval with Real Madrid behind what have you made of it so far Stuart? well they've not had quite enough purpose to their attacking play so far it's all been a bit too predictable but in the second half if they can get more support to their strikers and play with greater intensity they can certainly turn this around Bellingham Mandy has it 
Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. But then the one that goes astray. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, there aren't many better finishers in world football than Robert Lewandowski, and strong evidence of that here, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Barca with the advantage, but no room for complacency. Gundogan. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter-attack. Vinicius. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Romeu. Jules Koundé on the ball. Oriol Romeu. Rafinha. It's with Gundogan. Frankie de Jong. And Barca moving the ball with purpose. Joao Felix. No let up here. De Jong. Angles it back. Untidy in possession from Barcelona. And well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. David Alaba. Mendy. Now with Bellingham. And Real's creative tendencies coming to the fore. And an astute piece of defending. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Kunde. Oriol Romeu. Oh, skipping away. Well, pass after pass. Maybe they can chisel an opportunity. Joao Felix. Passing it accurately. Excellent defending. Rodrigo. And Bellingham. Course. Now with Vinicius Jr. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Ten minutes to go. Superb effort to keep it in. Joao Cancelo. Here's Rafinha. Well, with five minutes remaining and just one goal between them, still the prospect of late excitement in this match. Determined defending. Tony Kroos. And now Rodrigo. Carvajal. Aurelien Chouameni. Real Madrid attacking, and they have to give it a go with time not on their side. And offside by a very small margin. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench.
And there goes the final whistle. It ends in defeat for Real Madrid, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, Derek, it was a hard-fought contest, which neither side completely dominated, but the result will certainly hurt them. They need to bounce back next time out. Well, it's understandable that we focus once again on Robert Lewandowski. How would you sum up his performance? Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent.